Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Um, so for today's review, I picked up this Rimmel London um, BB cream. So I just wanted to put it to the test. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you could keep up with future videos of mine. Um, yeah, so before this intro gets any longer than it should, let's just get right into the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. Okay, so I have never used BB cream before. This is the first time I'm going to use this product. So um, the only reason I picked it up is because my skin is doing a little better than it usually does. Um, so I just wanted to stop caking it on with foundation. So I just decided to get something lightweight. So I'm just going to... Well, it's the Rimmel London BB Cream Beauty Balm Radiance 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup. And it has SPF of 20. And the shade I got is Medium. I know this is going to be a little um, a little dark for me, let me just, focus on it. just because I did pick this up um, while I was self tanned and now that it's washed off, um, I'm pretty sure, I'm 100% it's going to be a shade too dark. So anyways, I'm just going to read what it says in the back. And it just says, wake up skin with a healthy looking glow, 9 in 1, um, skin perfecting super makeup. It primes, smooths, conceals, helps minimize the appearance of pores. Provides natural looking coverage, moisturizes for 24 hours, awakens tired skin, brightens the skin with vitamin C complex, and the last one, it gives a radiant finish. So it's not going to give you a matte finish like I know most BB creams do. This is just going to give you like more of like a glow. Um, I've never used these BB creams just because I do like um, a full coverage type of thing. Here, one second. I do like full coverage, so I don't know how I feel about these, but we're just going to go ahead and test it out. So I just took a little bit on the back of my hand and I could already tell that it's a shade way too dark for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my foundation brush and just dab this in. Now I'm not applying um, a base or anything just because supposedly there's all the things that I need that I apply before my foundation is already in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a brush, my foundation brush, dab a little bit in. Hmm and um, just go straight onto the face. And I am gonna pat it in how I usually just pat in my foundation, which is kind of pat it in and then swirl out. So already this looks like super um, radiant like they say. Uh, I'm not sure about it covering my pores up so much, but I mean, it does leave the streaky. I'm not sure if it's the brush, but it does stay a little streaky. So I'm just going to do like half my face for now and then show you guys the difference on the other side. Okay, so now I am going to zoom you guys in so you guys could see a little better. Okay, so this is the side um, that I have the baby cream on and this is the other side that has nothing so right away you could kind of tell that my face on this side looks a little bit more glowier than this side um if i look at it right here it looks good but once i get closer i just don't like the texture of it um i don't know if it's because i'm one that's used to just having um matte foundations that's usually my go-to type of thing and just right now it's just too what should i say i don't know I just don't like the texture of it. That's what I'm trying to get at. I don't like the texture of it. Um, it's just a little too um, too shimmery for me. I mean, don't get me wrong. It does look good. But I feel like if I wear this during the summer, it's just going to be really melted. Like, it's not really melted. It's just going to feel, maybe feel like if I'm melting type of thing. That's what I'm trying to say. And if I look closer, it's already kind of kicking up around my mouth. I do have dryness around my mouth area. So I don't know if you could already see it already settling into those fine lines, which I'm not that crazy about, but I don't know. And it's not really, I mean, it did cover. It's just not really getting into my redness inside um, my nose area, but compared to this side, it does look a lot better. All right, so I finished applying um, the BB cream to the other side of my face, and I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So I'm like stuck in between. Um, the only reason um, 
I'm not a fan of it so far is because I mean, besides the shade that, that's like the only obvious part but other than that I just have um, a lot of dry patches around my mouth like I had mentioned before so I could see it like breaking apart and clinging on to the dryness just around here um, <clears throat> at first it's really lightweight so the thing is um, since it's really lightweight it kind for some reason it feels heavy on my skin so I'm not liking the way it's setting in my skin um it's just if it's not getting patchy it's breaking apart like right here between my eyebrows um the the bb cream didn't really get on there right and if i try if i try to apply more it kind of breaks off even more so i'm just not messing with it um other than that it's pretty good i want to say it's good for more of the people that have um normal to oily skin or i'm not sure about combo because if, if i'm having problems with it where i have normal to dry skin i don't see how it would work for um for normal or com or for combo skin should i say sorry um other than that that's like basically my only problem with this um i don't really see myself sadly um using this again um maybe i'll give it off to my sister so she could have it and test it out for a while to see how it works with that and I'll, then i'll just do like a another check-in with you guys and let you guys know like keep you guys updated about that uh, but other than that for me this just didn't work so it's a big um no in my book so i mean i don't really care because it was only like a six dollar item thing but I was really hoping it would work especially for someone who has never used a BB cream I was really I had high hopes for this but I guess not so yeah all right so what I am just gonna do now I'm just gonna go ahead and wash this off um that's another reason why I didn't really do a full face of makeup because I wasn't sure how I felt about it um right now I could kind of see like my pores coming back in so I'm not that excited to wear this even for another hour or so so this first one is gonna be a little different compared to my other segments just because I'm not gonna be doing check-ins throughout the day just because I feel like I don't need to I mean I got results right away so I could only imagine it getting worse during the day honestly so yeah um hopefully this helped a little bit for you guys um let me know if you do have this or have tried it down below and let me know how you liked it or how you hated it um yeah so I'll talk to you guys soon bye guys